All right, so it's Labor Day, and we don't have a full podcast for you. Mm-hmm. We don't because, you know, we want to hang out and, you know, uh, eat pork. We get, you have a pork-filled Labor Day? You missed my pork content at the fair. Uh, I bet you have. What'd you have? Pork chop on a stick. Oh, my God. I saw the sign. I came for the turkey leg. This is a Minnesota State Fair. I said, oh, my gosh, pork chop on a stick. Then they had a sign that said, big, fat bacon. Oh, big, thick my. bacon on a stick. Big, I had a thick. time at the fair. People Jesus were riding Christ. me, and they were like, Van's going to have a field day with this. So will I be having pork for Labor Day? No. No, no pork. Okay. Um, Look, we talked about it a little bit. There's something new we're going to be doing on the, on the podcast called the Van Lay 10. It's a top 10 list. And mm-hmm. We're going to be counting it down. Now, I saw this picture. Of? The picture was of Mimi Faust, uh-huh. Claudia Jordan, mm-hmm. and Carly Rae. Yes. And it was from the 90s. And they just looked beautiful. Wow, they knew each other back in the 90s? They were hanging out back in the 90s. Claudia gave the whole uh, breakdown of their friendship going back in the day. And, you know, it, the 90s were a time of peak black beauties, man. Black women are beautiful in any decade. Mm-hmm. But I remember the 90s and how things were going. And that picture just made me remember it. So I wanted to commemorate the black beauties of the 90s okay. by having the inaugural Van Lay 10 be the top 10 black beauties oh. of the 90s. Okay. This was so hard. This was a hard list. Top 10 black beauties in the 90s was a hard list. I had to, I had to actually make some criteria to... <laughs> what is it? To, like, whittle the list down. Okay, so here's the criteria. Number one, uh, you had to be of age for most of the 90s. So Aaliyah, Brandy, Maya out. Okay. Okay, because... They the, were minors. The, that's called the R. Kelly rule. Okay. So Aaliyah, Brandy, Aaliyah, Brandy Maya out. They like uh, rest in peace, Aaliyah, Maya, and Brandy. Beautiful women, but for most of the nineties, they were they were young girls. So Aaliyah, Brandy, Maya out. Monica as well. Monica as well. Monica's right here as well. Aaliyah, Brandy, Monica, Maya out. Okay, right, fair. They're out. Um, second rule is you have to be active in your career for at least six years <laughs> of the nineties. So more than half. More, more than, than half. half of the nineties. Okay. Because I'm telling you right now. <laughs> If that wasn't a rule, then Lisa Ray, who exploded onto the scene in 1998 with the Players Club, uh, would have made this list. But okay. she basically came in at the end of the 90s, and that's like a 2000s beauty. That's a good. This is these are good rules. These are good. Lisa Ray, cold. So I just want to put that on the. <laughs> she would have been on this list, but she came in like at the tail end of the 90s. Okay. All right. All right. The 90s have to. Also see your career peak. Okay. So your beauty is tied to your success. This is where, we're, well, because if it was just, if it was just, because this also has to do with stature as well, because if it was just straight up beauty, it would be like six or seven video models on this list as well. Okay. All right. So we're talking about your career peak also has to be in the 90s, right? Uh, that list was put there for Robin Givens, who Robin Givens was a beauty in the 90s, but I feel like Robin Givens would make the 80s list. I'm personally offended. Because of I your... Because I look like her. <laughs> I'm personally offended. You look like Robin Givens. Okay. So, uh, it, it, that's the three rules. Okay. All right. Those three rules. Okay. So, before we get into the list, I'm going to do a couple of honorable mentions. I'm going to honorable mention Robin Givens. And I'm going to honorable mention all the VJs. Okay. That's Ananda Lewis... That's Big Les from Rap City. Wow. Wow. Big Les from Rap City. Okay. And that's Rachel Summers. Go back and watch a show called Caribbean Rhythms. It used to come on Saturday mornings on BET. Rachel from Caribbean Rhythms, one of the coldest. All the VJs right there, shout out to them. And I also have to shout out another black beauty of the 90s. And... I have to do this because I'm me, Heather Hunter. Is that uh, a porn? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to shout out Heather Hunter as well. Okay. All right. I have to shout out Heather Hunter. Yeah, you know. Um, I have to shout out Heather Hunter. I could have actually made a whole list of just, you know, anyway. Okay. That's that she's a rapper and a painter. Heather Hunter? Heather Hunter, very talented lady. 
All right. Very and talented an author. lady. An author, dancer. See Heather Hunter as a dancer. So shout out to Heather Hunter. Okay. Here it is. Honorable mentions out of the way. The inaugural Van Lay 10, the top 10 black beauties of the 90s. Okay. At 10, we have a tie, a grouping. We are really, okay. Go a ahead. A grouping. All of the TV bays. Jada Pinkett Smith. You're really trying not to get in trouble. Tisha Campbell, Holly Robinson Pete, and Garcelle Beauvais. Put them all together. Okay. The TV bays. That's the last tie we got. All right. All the TV bays are at 10. Jada Pinkett Smith is on this list because she was on a different world. Yeah. But really, what got Jada Pinkett Smith on this list was Jason's lyric. But you said you included her with the TV bays. She's with the TV bays. But Jason's lyric, very few people had that. Houston, Fifth Ward, Jada was it in Jason's lyric. Well, she almost didn't make the list. I've actually seen that Jason's lyric. She, right. but but we had a. I would like to thank the the members of the Player Proof who who helped collate this list a little bit and reminded me of the coldness that was Jada Pinkett in Jason's lyric. Every time Will or somebody else is probably feeling like whatever you turn on Jason's lyric, you know I gotta have that. I got to I got to have that. Jada Cole, Jada one of the coldest. It's true. Okay. Tisha Campbell, Ben Cole, Holly Robinson, Pete, Ben Cole, Garcelle, we had her on the show. Ben Cole. Okay. Uh number 9. Miss USA 1993. Can you more? Can you more? Okay, fair. Can you more? You guys, I realized that Can you more recently has been involved in some controversy. Yeah. But when you set eyes on Kenya Moore, 93, 94, 95, one of the coldest, absolutely got to be on the list. Number eight, Sally Richardson. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just a, diff- a, different, a different model when she first dropped. We looked at Sally Richardson. Oh, my God. What's Low Down Dirty Shane? Also featuring Jada Pinkett. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Posse. If you want to see Sally Richardson, At her best, I'm talking about the coldest of the cold, freezing ice cold posse is what you want to look at. And now she has a fantastic career. She's now transitioned into directing. She's doing great. She's married to Robert from The Cosby Show. Married to Robert from The Cosby Show. Sally Richardson's doing great. Timeless beauty, Sally Richardson. Number seven, another lady that we continue to keep up with, Vivica Fox. Vivica A. Fox. Uh, first time I saw Vivica Fox, I think it was an episode of Melrose Place. Or Really? It's Fresh Prince for me. Fresh Prince for you. Uh, so it was Melrose Place, uh, Fresh Prince, and then boom, Independence Day comes, uh, and Vivica Fox is out of here. Also, she was on a sitcom. Do you remember sitcom? No. It was Vivica Fox, Morris Chestnut, and Dwayne Martin. The sitcom was called Out All Night. And Patty LaBelle oh, was in it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know Vivica Fox was in that. Vivica Fox was on that. I definitely remember Morris and Dwayne Martin. Morris, Dwayne Martin, Vivica Fox. And I do remember Patty. Out all night. Out all night. I went to see Independence Day for the aliens, but <laughs> I went back to see Independence Day <laughs> because Vivica Fox was playing an exotic dancer. And, and um, I used to have these mixtapes that I would make of all of my favorite scenes from different oh, wow. movies. And her scene was on there. It was good. Like, whatever. You don't want to. Whatever. Whatever. You say whatever you want. <laughs> Number six, the list isn't about politics. Okay. I know who it okay, is. Okay. I know who it wait, is. Wait, wait, wait. Number six. Y'all know. The list isn't about politics. It's not about politics. <laughs> the list is about the coldest of the cold in she the was, 90s. But she was. Stacey Dash. She got to make the list. Stacey Dash has got to make the list. It's not about politics. The list isn't about politics. Stacey Dash is on the list. That's a good one. Got to make the list. I'm not going to go into a whole thing. You know her. She was cold. She was, though, One guys. of the coldest ever. We didn't know what was to come. We had no clue what was about to happen. <laughs> All right? That's what it is. Now we get into the top five. And it gets tough. 
because this is my list. Okay. And I have somebody at five who people are going to say is way too low. Naomi Campbell. Oh. Yeah. I got Naomi Campbell at five. Naomi Campbell is almost the standard too low. of beauty. And then a lot of people are going to say that. A lot of people are going to say Naomi Campbell's too low. But I have Naomi Campbell at five. Naomi Campbell is the standard of high fashion beauty in the 90s. All right, Michael Jackson video, different stuff like that. Naomi Campbell is at five. Okay. All right. Four is also going to be controversial because five and four, a lot of people feel like they should have been swapped, but I'm going on like how I look at it, my top 10, and I have Tyra Banks ahead of Naomi Campbell at four. Okay. I'm not mad at it. Tyra Banks, bubbly, beautiful, can go from high fashion runway to Sports Illustrated, acting in uh, higher, uh, learning. higher learning, uh, uh, namesake, uh, just everywhere, just ubiquitous beauty, mm-hmm. ubiquitous beauty. She was known for just being beautiful, hosting shows and all kinds of Tyra Banks, beautiful. I had the Tyra Banks calendar. Okay. I would get it each year, all right? All right. Number three, could have easily been number one. Easily. Nia Long. I thought she was going to be your number one. She's not. Wow. She's not. Who is number one? Wow. She's not. Nia's not number one? Nia Long is not number one. Okay. Could have easily, easily been number one. Ridiculously beautiful. Okay. The picture of beauty. When you saw her in Boys in the Hood, you were like, I hope Trey survives. (laughs) And he did. He did survive. (laughs) It's like, I want him and her to be able to go to Morehouse and Spelman together. I hope she don't get pregnant before graduation. (laughs) Um, But you looked, and then she just got more lovely. By the time Friday came, it was like, am I looking at a human being? Like, she's amazing. And then when we get to the best man, which is towards the end of the decade, 99, 2000? It's 99. Yeah. then her womanliness has come into the situation and Nia is out of here. She, she would have been my number one. Amazing beauty. Number two, when we talk about careers and hotness and beauty that is just coming into its own in the 90s, Janet Jackson. Okay. I was thinking Janet, but if you're going to put Robin in the 80s, you have to put ja- Janet in the 80s. That's when she started popping off. Wrong. So Janet... You knew I was going to make this argument. ...came of age in the 80s. Her career peak is the 90s. Her career peak is the Janet album. It is. Her career peak is the Velvet Rope. Her career peak is in the 90s. Okay. Janet comes up throughout the 80s, but her career peak in the 90s and her hotness, when she... When Janet... When That's the Way Love Goes popped off and Janet is right there. You hadn't seen that Janet before. If. If. All of that poetic justice. I know. Like, this Janet that we're seeing okay. during right. that time. Fair. That's the Janet. The most gorgeous thing in the 90s, except for one person. Who? It's a no-brainer. It, I had Nia. It's a no-brainer. Number one. It's a no-brainer. See, what happens is I get fixated on it. And I was fixated on Nia. It's a no-brainer. Still killing to this day. She could come back and win it in the 2000s. Hmm. She could double up two decades. She could have gone... She can, Singer? No. Actress. She can go back to back. She can go 90s and 2000s. Oh, my gosh. She could easily come back in the 2000s and get it again. Because you could you can make an argument that her career peak is in the 2000s. Oh my gosh, who is this? She got to she got to hold the crown for the 90s Ooh, too. Ooh, just tell me. Halle Berry. Oh. Halle fucking Berry. I would have put Nia. You would have put Nia over Halle Berry? Mm-hmm. Wow. I would have. But Halle Berry's a good one. I can't believe I didn't think about that. I don't know mm-hmm. what I was thinking. But you left some off the list. Okay, tell me who I left off. Let's let's make sure that we give everybody their due. Maybe she could have been in number 10. Okay. But you, Lark Voorhees. Lark Voorhees, we talked about. Ian, Lark, brought, a, 
Ian, Ian's going to like this. Ian brought up Lark Voorhees. Lark Voorhees mm. obviously peaked in the 90s. But I say she's 80s. See, no. That's, you're just trying to justify your list. Say just say you left her off. I say she's 80s. Just say you left her off. Lark Voorhees, yeah. Jasmine Guy. Oh, yeah, Jasmine Guy. Jasmine Guy. Jasmine Guy is cold. That's cold. That's coldness. That's coldness. Those are the only two that I thought would have fit in there somewhere. Uh, oh, you know what? One popped up on the, like, you know, shout out to all of these ladies. The, the, um, yeah, when I tell you the, you guys got to look at the 90s and w women are beautiful. Everyone's beautiful. These women are so accomplished, so talented, all of this. But look at the variety of looks. Yeah. Look at the variety of looks, man. Look at the variety of looks here. You know, it's not a whole list full of biracials. It's not a it's not a whole list full of of people who have back to exactly the same body style. It's True. Women, different, taller ladies, shorter ladies, chocolate, whatever, mm. all of this stuff. So, uh, Lila Rashawn, also. Oh, Lila's a good one. Timeless beauty. That's the list. Lila's a good one. Halle Berry. Uh, there is some talk about maybe coming back for another late ten and doing, uh, uh top white women. Um. I don't know if we should do that. I don't know if that fits in with the overall ethos. I'd rather do the men. You want to do so, you want to do the men. Black men. Top black men. You do it. Okay, well, I'll it's do your it. list. I'll do it. I'll do top black men. I'll do the hottest hunks of the 90s. I have no problem <laughs> doing this. I'll I know do, you don't. I'll do hottest hunks of the 90s. I'll do hottest hunks of the 2000s. I already know who's going to win hottest hunks of, 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 of the 90s. I already know who's number one. I'm not telling you. But. You ruined the fucking list. But. Well, you, 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 you can't do that. <laughs> but Bleak here, that. Ashley, like, like, Ashley, <laughs> Ashley, but here's Ashley the thing: that. All, do you have the same rules? Because an argument could be made that '90s was not his peak. No, Ashley, bleep that, because Rachel's gonna ruin the list. You can't ruin the late ten. Bleep that. We coming back hottest hunks, hottest hunks of 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 the of the '90s. And he, he's 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 definitely number one, but you can't give it away. Sorry. God damn, right? I got excited. Yeah, because of him. All right, you guys, enjoy Labor Day with your families. I might release this entire list, this, that whole thing on Instagram. Do it. I might re release that whole thing on Instagram, right there, that whole piece of video. Yeah. Enjoy Labor Day with your families. We will be back Thursday uh, in higher learning. Take thing caps off. Do not stop learning. Tell me who you are. I'm Van Lathan Jr. <laughs> I'm Rachel and Lindsay. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>